In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, a majestic creature silently glides through the emerald realm, the Corallus caninus, better known as the emerald tree boa. Join us as we delve into the captivating world of this arboreal serpent, exploring its evolutionary history, ecological significance, and the challenges it confronts. Among the most spectacular yet mysterious serpents inhabiting the diminishing rainforests of the Amazon basin is the emerald tree boa, Corallus caninus. Named for its unrivaled lime green scales matching foliage in forest canopies, this arboreal hunter has puzzled biologists in its obscure habits and unknown population status believed to number just in the low thousands across fragmented ranges in northeast South America. As apex ambush predators interwoven throughout trophic webs of the disappearing wilderness they prowl, their uncertain fate echoes billions more obscured organisms now confronting an encroaching human footprint. Discerning secrets of the emerald tree boa and implementing safeguards reminds us of the imponderable losses should thousands of years of evolutionary heritage fade to memory without efforts today to turn the tide of destruction and change. Evolutionary History Emerald tree boas belong to an ancient subfamily of non-venomous boids tracing origins to Gondwanan continents over 100 million years ago following the Cretaceous, Paleogene extinction wiping out non-avian dinosaurs. Primitive Henophidians later diversified giving rise to modern boids after separating from Aracene sand boas during the Eocene period. Emerald tree boa ancestors likely diverged in relative isolation across forested regions of Proto-South America over 20 million years ago as suitable habitat emerged. Today just 12 extant Corallus species exist as relicts echoing once far more extensive lineages now greatly reduced to tropical forest remnants after glacial cycles and tectonic shifts dramatically reshaped the neotropics during the mid-Miocene disruptions. Based on most recent molecular evidence, Corallus caninus itself represents a relative new world emergence evolving rapidly during the late Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs from Amazonian floodplain lineages. As dynamic river systems and receding woodlands isolated predecessors, strong arboreal adaptations emerged yielding a perfect apex canopy hunter exploiting rich yet dangerous aerial niches other snakes could not reach. Vivid coloration still unexplained may link dominance signaling, UV reflectance and prey attraction balanced against remaining cryptic above while dispatching victims. Over successive ice age cycles, forests expanded enabling range growth until human pressures initiated declines estimated near 30% in just past half century alone. Length averages around 6 feet for these slender yet powerful constrictors weighing up to 8 pounds with a prehensile tail comprising almost one-third total length assisting climbing using irregular whip-like motions for stabilizing or anchoring to branches. The neck region shows distinctive crimson, black and bright white banding while the interior assumes more solid jet black coloration. But the most striking features involve the unparalleled lime green scales completely overlaying the posterior body and tail which allow near-perfect concealment within rainforest canopies when combined with coiling movements emulating light flickers through leaves to ambush avian prey. Heat-sensing labial pits help target warm-blooded quarries such as birds and small mammals which are constricted without venom, though bites can still induce dangerous infections. The skull supports pronounced rear fangs functioning to grip avian victims subdued by relentless coiling tensions which cease only once prey expires, allowing consumption head-first maximizing ecological energy gains from rare large bonanzas. Ecology Emerald tree boas chiefly occupy lowland tropical forests and rainforests with reliable canopy access below 3, 3 feet in elevation across regions averaging 18 degrees year-round with high precipitation levels needed to support abundant prey populations. Considered dietary apex generalists similar to feline predators, Corallus caninus holds no specialized prey preferences detected between known populations, instead opportunistically targeting the most readily available vertebrate species across its range including lizards, rodents and frogs. Among endangered New World parrots, macaws represent favored ambush targets from size-optimizing caloric returns. Yet beyond vital balancing roles limiting certain prey exceeding carrying capacities that would degrade habitats if left unchecked, emerald tree boas provide another crucial ecosystem service, they themselves comprise food for some of the rainforest's largest predators. Jaguars and harpy eagles feast on these snakes among limited other arboreal food sources augmenting proportions of terrestrial game. Females likely reproduce just once annually. 
With modern rates of habitat loss diminishing viable rainforest by over 4% each half decade, sufficient habitat likely no longer remains to maintain past population sizes for this low-density apex canopy specialist. Habitat and Behavior Emerald tree boas occupy lowland humid rainforest domains up to 820 feet in elevation requiring permanent water access in Amazon regions tolerating seasonal floods. Vegetation density seems important facilitating easier ambush hunting and escape from would-be attackers. Within home ranges they frequent trees possessing dense vines, epiphytes or projecting dead branches that enable concealed positioning above frequented game trails where most hunting occurs. Rarely seen moving during daylight hours outside brief relocations, they instead spend days coiled amidst branches and leaves perfectly camouflaged to await passing birds or small mammals to strike. Peak activity happens from dusk until mid-morning when 64% of observed hunts transpire aided by heat-sensing pits helping distinguish warm bodies against cooler backgrounds. If threatened while exposed, these normally lethargic ambush experts can lash out seeking to bite attackers or flee rapidly into forest cover. Little is known about specific social dynamics or mating rituals, but seasonal rains likely trigger courtship activities based on breeding patterns seen in captivity. Here elaborate male combat dances happen seeking to intimidate rival males before selecting ideal mates based on health and size indicators. Isolated accounts depict males suspending inverted from branches using their prehensile tails to grapple circling females subduing them enough for copulation which can last over half an hour while also preventing interference by competitors. Just 25 to 35 offspring emerge following two-month gestation measure barely 18 inches yet still able to crawl immediately and coil watching the mother for protection cues while attaining full size and coloration by age 2. Relations between wild mothers and offspring remain entirely unknown as does longevity estimates. Conclusion the emerald tree boa persists today only thanks to the expansive yet rapidly disappearing wilderness strongholds still found across regions of the Amazon basin. But continued habitat pressures through logging, conversion for agriculture and illicit pet trading have already substantially reduced former range distributions now occupying less than one quarter of historic limits. Exact population figures cannot be reliably estimated, but localized declines up to 20% annually suggest just a few thousand may remain scattered across remaining old-growth rainforests. Strategic habitat protections and restoring connective corridors between isolated protected areas offers some optimism if implemented swiftly before foreign ecosystems degrade beyond recovery. Sustaining these vibrant snakes ensures balance within the canopy food webs supporting countless interconnected organisms, ferns to jaguars alike. Yet the window for conservation action narrows considerably year after year. Unless the international community rallies securing critical areas like Amazonia for posterity while changing the underlying drivers of consumption, little hope persists preventing the emerald tree boa from sliding soundlessly towards extinction in the growing silence of vacant rainforests no longer able to echo its presence or purpose. Much more balances on decisions made today across fragile frontiers fringing the wildest place our planet yet harbors.